Oh, hey, folks. I was just thinking about that time Michelangelo got accused of forging a Roman sculpture. Let me tell you about it. So when Michelangelo was a boy, he went to school, but he wasn't super into it, you know? He saw these other people making paintings and sculptures, and he said, I want to hang out with these guys. So he did that for a while, and it worked out for him because at age 13, there was this painter, Ghirlandaio, who was invited to do some paintings at the Sistine Chapel. Not on the ceiling, though, some other ones on the wall. And he's like, yeah, I'll bring Michelangelo along with me to work on that. So then the guy who rules over Florence, where Michelangelo is from, Lorenzo de' Medici, goes to Ghirlandaio Lair and he's like, do you have any like cool apprentices that can come over and do some work or want to learn at my family's academy? And Ghirlandaio is like, sure, why don't you take Michelangelo? So Michelangelo goes there, he's learning, he's arting, he's having a good time. But all the while, art collectors are a little more interested in buying these ancient classical sculptures that are being unearthed. So there were a few years where he moved around, but when he was 21, he was back working with the Medici family for a little while. The story next gets a little unclear. It's possible that Michelangelo made the Sleeping Cupid in the style of a classical work. Then he rubbed a little dirt on it so that it would look old, so that then the work would be more likely to sell. Or it's also possible that Michelangelo sold the piece to an art dealer and that art dealer said, oh, I'm just going to bury this in my vineyard, make it look old, and sell it for more money. Either way, it ends up being purchased by this cardinal named Raphael Riario. And he gets it home and he's like, oh, check out my classical sculpt. Wait a minute. And he realizes it's a fake. So he goes back to this art dealer and he's like, give me my money back. Take this sculpture. I don't want it. And instead of punishing Michelangelo, he invites him to Rome to work. So instead of getting in trouble, his career got a huge boost, he was introduced to fabulous patrons in Rome, and he was set on a path to becoming one of the most celebrated artists in Western art history. 